Today, I want to talk to you about six mistakes you make that stop you from meditating. These mistakes can be intentional or unintentional, but they all hinder you from either trying to meditate or from meditating effectively. Let us look at these six mistakes. 1. Not holding yourself accountable. The first mistake that can stop you from meditating is simply not holding yourself accountable. In other words, you don't feel accountable to yourself for doing your meditation. You may be making this mistake if you keep telling yourself you'll start tomorrow, but tomorrow never comes, or if you have frequent gaps between your meditation practices. The only person who can make you meditate is yourself. If you do not buckle down and hold yourself accountable, you can never expect to start meditating or improve your practice. You can hold yourself more accountable by rewarding yourself each time you meditate. This reward can be a sweet treat or relaxing bath. Whatever it is, do not reward yourself if you fail to meditate. 2. Have too high of expectations. Another mistake that can stop you from meditating is having too high of expectations. If you expected meditation to take away all your stress and to make you completely emotionally stable overnight, you probably found yourself very disappointed after your first meditation, causing you to think that meditation is just a bunch of malarkey. You can begin to solve this problem by adjusting your expectations. Recognize that meditation takes a lot of time and energy and that it cannot solve all of your problems. Once you adjust your expectations, you should start to feel more uplifted about your practice. 3. Doing the wrong meditation A third mistake that may be stopping you from meditating is that you tried the wrong meditation. Today, there are countless tools to help you meditate, and each tool has a different meditation technique. Some techniques are very traditional and rooted in religious thought, while other techniques are much more related to everyday life. Although none of these techniques are wrong, some techniques will be better suited for you than others. If you've stopped meditating because you did not like the practice, try a different practice instead. 4. Relying on guided meditations. The fourth mistake you may be making is relying too heavily on guided meditations. Guided meditations are a great tool for learning how to meditate or meditating if you are very tired. If you only rely on guided meditations, though, you will quickly get bored and your meditations will hit a lag. You can avoid this mistake by pushing your limits in trying different meditations. 5. Bypassing. A fifth mistake you may be making by bypassing your real problems with meditation. In other words, you use meditation as a way to avoid your actual problems and feelings. When you use meditation in this way, you're not actually meditating. You're simply distracting yourself, and you will soon find that the problems and feelings you were avoiding come back. 6. Actively trying to control your thoughts. The last mistake you may be making is actively trying to control your thoughts. Many new meditators try to put their thoughts in a box. When their mind wanders, they start talking to themselves in a very negative way in order to try to control their thoughts. Doing this turns the meditation into a negative experience. Instead of trying to control your thoughts, think of meditation as a time to guide your thoughts. If your mind wanders, bring the thoughts back to the meditation. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.